Guillermo Bert also lives at the brewery. As a professional, he is part of the media machine. As an artist, he is fascinated by fragments. I'm trying to find uh, things that are related with our time, uh, mainly through the media, because I think that the media has a lot to do with the landscape in Los Angeles. I mean, all these uh, street posters that I peel out uh, from the street, I mean, I, I just call them LA sites because they are sort of like archaeological sites where I go there and I get all these layers that they are buried underneath and, uh, and expose them. They reveal some of the personality, the characteristic of Los Angeles, the soul of LA in that uh, sense. And I piece them together and I paint over that. I start uh, in the beginning with um, like a cave art con conception. Uh, I paint horses and deers and sort of like animals that were part of the landscape just a couple of hundred years ago but you know you don't see them around anymore uh, in you know in this urban uh, environment but um, then I evolved into a more pop culture and I'm painting some sumo wrestlers some divers dancers and things that it has to do with the performance and the gesture I mean things that they're sort of like just happen in a minute and, and time and disappear forever and that mixed is, is, a, is a relationship between what is eternity and ephemeral. And I think that this is this possible culture. The Renaissance, I think that the, uh, the things is supposed to last for thousands of years. I mean, here is the opposite. It's supposed to just get, you know, appear, show up, make an impact, and disappear right away. That's a, that's, that's a kind of mentality we have. And, um, you know, in terms of the media and in terms of the art itself, 